all the ministers I know who have been in ministry for a long time, like decades, will say like you have to prioritize your health, uh, your own rest, and your family. And so I asked the elders, hey, would you be willing to let me do that and have a sabbatical at the end of my seventh year? And, and they willingly said, yeah, we wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do, I've, you're gonna notice I'm gone in July. It's not because I've left. It's not because I'm thinking about leaving or because the elders put me in timeout for a month. Like this is, <laughs> this is an opportunity for me really to disengage so I can engage God, myself, and my family. But that's not just something for me, that's something I think for all of us. In ministry, whether you're in full-time ministry or if you're living ministry, like full-time, not at the church, like it's really easy for your personal identity to get caught up with ministry and to forget that really first and foremost, before any of that, like we are made in the image of God, we belong to God and we're united to Jesus. Like that comes, whether you're in like vocational ministry or not, it comes before that, it's what lasts after that. And so I really wanna be in a rhythm so I can be here for a long time and be healthy and also love Jesus <laughs> in 10 or 20 years. I want my family to love Jesus. I want you guys to love Jesus. It's a great opportunity for the church to realize like church can happen without me here. It's a great chance for the church to just remember, hey, this is Jesus's church. It's not Adam's church, not the elder's church. It's not any one person's church, it's Jesus's. And it's also a good opportunity for me as your pastor to remember like, I need Jesus more than I need my ministry job. Like I have to be with him before this. And this is just a way for me to say like, I wanna make sure that that's right so I can be here and be healthy and actually lead you towards Jesus and not towards an unhealthy Adam. So I mentioned that because that's one of the rhythms we're gonna think about this next year is in this frenetic, crazy, busy, calendars fold world, how do you actually live holy with God and press pause and spend time with him and rest in a, in a way that actually draws you closer to him? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice that this summer. I'm gonna encourage our congregation, you guys, to be thinking about what, what are your rhythms of rest and what would it look like to step into that maybe more than you have. So we're gonna be looking at abiding in Jesus, the rhythms that, and habits that form us in Jesus so that we can be whole, healthy, thriving disciples who are replicating Jesus in people and not maybe unhealthy habits that we've picked up over time.